This is why you must be prayerful in your workplace. Not everyone is happy with you. Eddie, have you noticed how Debbie carries herself in this office? She behaves as if she is Queen Elizabeth. I learned that so many guys have been making advances on her, but she keeps turning them down. Oh really? I just know that she is a diligent and hardworking lady. That's all. I think she is full of herself too. I know what I will do. I will look for a way to lure her into my bed and then I will dump her. I don't think that is necessary, just let her be. Besides what makes you think she will fall for your advances if she has been rejecting other men? Don't you know who I am? I have my charms. I am irresistible. Take a good look at me. Which woman can ever resist this cuteness? You better let sleeping dog be. What you are about to do is not necessary at all. Hi Debbie, how are you? I'm good Martins, thank you for asking. There will be a party at my place this weekend, I would love you to be there. Oh really, that's nice. I would love to, but I already have plans for the weekend. Sorry maybe next time. How about I take you out on Sunday? Like dinner or something? I don't think I will be available for that. Thank you for offering anyway. I was working on a project before you came, I have to continue now, if you don't mind. Okay, no problem. You won't believe I offered to take Debbie on a date but she turned it down. But I already told you to let her be. That serves you right. I won't let this slide. It is an insult to me. Who does she think she is? Hi Eddie, how are you? I'm good dear. You look really good as usual. I guess you came to have lunch. Yes I came to have some snacks, you? Oh so let's have a seat and chat a little. Okay sure. I learned you have been assigned to work on a project with me. That's right. I was going to come over to your office tomorrow so that we can go through the work and get acquainted. I look forward to having a great team work with you. Same here. You actually came highly recommended by some of our colleagues. They said you are the best man for the job. I am flattered. Thank you. My guy. I learned you are working on that project with Debbie. That means you guys will be spending some time together lately. This is an opportunity for me to be able to constantly see her. What do you mean? You will help me get her. Please don't involve me in whatever games you're playing. I can't be a part of it. Whatever. I will get her anyways. Why don't you just give up on whatever plans you had? She is a nice person and does not deserve what you are planning. No way. I won't rest until I have her warm my bed. This is so wrong. Judy, I called you out here because I didn't want any distractions. I have something very important to tell you and I need your advice. Okay, go ahead. It's about Debbie. What about her? I like her very much. I have fallen in love with her. Working as a teammate with her these past months has made me realize how nice a human she is and I really like her. I want to ask her to be my woman but I don't know if it is a good idea considering the fact that we work in the same office. You are right, it may not be a good idea dating someone in the same office as you, but the good news is that she applied for a transfer, and I think the management granted her proposal, so she will be transferred to the branch in another state as the branch manager. Oh really? I had no idea. This is a good sign. Yes it is. Debbie is a really nice lady. If you have feelings for her, then you should tell her before it is too late. Thank you so much Judy, I knew I could count on you. You don't need to thank me, you are the best male colleague in that office, so you deserve the best too. I'm sure you must be wondering why I called you out here. I like you and want us to work towards the future together. I really like you please be my girlfriend. The truth is that ever since we started working together I have liked you. You are a very reserved and well-mannered man. I have been hoping that you say this all these time. At some point I thought you won't ask me out because we work together. Wait does that mean you like me too? Yes I like you too. And you will be my girlfriend? Isn't that what you want? My pleasure too. You are a good man so I will gladly be your girlfriend. 
Let's toast to this. I learned Debbie has been transferred to another branch and promoted to a branch manager. Yes, you are right. Too bad I didn't get the chance to get that girl. Talking about getting her. You don't need to continue trying on that your plan, because she is my girlfriend now. What do you mean she is your girlfriend? I asked her out and she accepted. Seriously? She accepted to be your girl? How? Well, I really can't explain. But she said she has always liked me because I am a nice guy and I am reserved. I thought you had no interest in her? I never said so. You know I always tell you that being a nice human pays. You never know who is watching. She was actually watching me all these while. Oh really? So now you feel like you have won a trophy right? If you say so. She is actually worth more than a trophy. And I intend spending the rest of my life with her. Are you kidding? I am not. Who would have a rock gold and let it go? She is priceless and I can't let her go. Congratulations bro. Thank you. Eddie, some important office informations have been sold out. In fact, the design and informations of our yet-to-be-launched product has been launched by our competitor. These has been happening repeatedly for months now and we had to go into investigation and it was discovered that you have been the one giving out the company's informations to our rival company. And these has caused us to lose so much money and even some partners and sponsors have withdrawn. Madam, I have been working with this organization for almost a decade now and you should have known by now that there is no way I can do such a thing. There must be a mix-up somewhere. I used to know you as a good man, but given the circumstance and evidences I don't think I can trust you anymore. What evidence mean? The messages were traced and it was discovered that they were sent from your computer. And some photos of you and the manager of our rival company was also seen. I am sorry but the board has decided that you vacate the office. You are fired. I was very shocked when I heard what happened. I know you didn't do what you are been accused of. But what were you doing with the manager of our rival company? Yes I was with him some weeks ago and that's because secondary schoolmate had a reunion and he is one of us. We attended the same secondary school. In fact he's like a friend. It's just unfortunate that we work for two different companies that are in a competition. And you know me I could never mix up business with pleasure. We don't discuss work at all. What baffles me is how the email was sent through my computer. Don't worry dear, I believe that God will vindicate you. We need to find out what is going on. I know how much hard work I put it into that company and now they are laying me off like a common criminal. This is so not fair. Don't worry dear, relax I know what to do. I was really surprised when I learned of what happened to Eddie. I don't believe Eddie can do something like that. But the matter is just so complicated. We have to find a way to help him. He is really feeling down we need to do something to clear the air. Are you in talking terms with Martins his friend? I can't speak to him we don't talk. Yes we talk. But why don't you talk to him? He is your boyfriend's best friend. He made advances at me some time ago but I turned him down. He is quite arrogant. I dislike his personality. So what do Ta want him to do now? You know he shares the same department as Eddie. He is in the best position to help us monitor the other colleague there because I strongly believe that someone is trying to set Eddie up by framing him up. Okay, I will speak to him about it. Why do you want to see me so urgently? It's about Eddie's issue. I think it is a frame up and someone from your department is trying to set him up. You and I know that he can't do such a thing. Every finger and evidence points at him. You have seen the evidences didn't you? I really wish I can help him. You know he is my best friend. But I really can't do anything because the evidences are very glaring. Nevertheless I will still look out for any suspicious activity here. Please do, we have to get to the root of this and get hold of the real culprit. Judy any luck from your side? No luck yet. Ever since I spoke to Martins he is yet to give me any feedback. He has even been promoted. He is now occupying Eddie's position. Oh really? It baffles me why he doesn't even care about his friend's predicament. How are you holding on? 
God is helping me. I was meaning to ask you, have you heard from Martins your friend lately? I was even beginning to wonder. Martins called me only once since this problem started he has obviously been ignoring me. Maybe he thinks I am guilty. I have a bad feeling about this. What do you mean? Does Martin have access to your computer? No he doesn't. There was a day he asked to use my computer. It was around close of work and he was in my office. So I let him use it and even gave him my password. Could it be that he has been using my computer without my consent? I am beginning to connect the dots now. But why would he do such a thing? He is my best friend. Maybe he is your best friend but are you his best friend? I have always suspected him but I wasn't sure. It's obvious now that he was the one behind this. But why? We will need to find out. You spoke like something bad was happening. You have been avoiding me lately and that's the only way I could get you come to see me. Okay now I am here. Say what you have to say very quickly I have work to do. Martins why are you so evil and mischievous? What do you mean? Why did you have to frame me up for something I didn't do? You are supposed to be my best friend. What are you talking about? Please mind what you say. You don't have to deny anything. I already know the whole truth. You sent that mail through my computer, because you were the only person who knew my password, and also took photos of myself with the manager of our rival company, because I told you I was going for that reunion, and you knew he would be there. You framed me up. But to what end? Why? Why are you full of evil? Well you deserve what you are going through now. You think you are the saint right? Everyone thinks you are a good guy. And you always rub it on my face. You even had to take the girl I wanted. And now you stand here talking as if you have no blame. I took the girl you wanted? Which girl are you talking about? Debbie of course. You knew I wanted Debbie, but you went ahead to make her your girlfriend. You never loved Debbie. You never really wanted her. You just wanted to take advantage of her. But wait is this all because of a girl? You framed me up because of Debbie? You have always had what I wanted. Listen you have lost this time just accept the feet and let go. You will surely pay for this. Well no one will believe you anyway. Martins you have to clear your desk and submit every of the company's property in your possession. But why ma? Is that a sack? Yes you were fired. How could you frame someone else for something you actually did? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There is no need pretending. Eddie recorded the conversations you had last night and we heard everything you confessed to. In fact we had other people monitor you activities these past days. You are a very bad colleague and friend. Leave this place and never step a foot here again. The police is waiting for you at the reception. You have to pay for your crimes. Eddie we are so sorry for taking such irrational decisions without proper investigation. If you don't mind, your position is still available for you and your salary will be increased to make up for the inconveniences. Thank you, but there won't be any need for that because I have already secured a better job in another firm. I am just happy that I have been vindicated and the culprit apprehended. It was nice working with you. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching, please share this video to your family and loved ones, it could be useful for someone. Kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video leave your contributions or experience in the comment section below for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.